Jeff Wayne's musical version of The War of the Worlds, The New Generation is a 2012 concept album by Jeff Wayne and is a re-imagining of his 1978 concept album, retelling the story of The War of the Worlds by H. G. Wells. As previously, the music format is predominantly progressive rock and string orchestra, but with synthesizers playing a more prominent role. The music is intermixed with re-voiced narration and leitmotifs to carry the story forward via rhyming melodic lyrics that express the feelings of the various characters. Due to the consistent popularity of the original album, Wayne decided to return to his score and re-create it for a new generation of audiences, as well as re-launch a live tour throughout the United Kingdom and Europe. Topic. Background Topic. Album On 18 November 2011, Jeff Wayne announced at a press conference in London that there was to be a new release of his musical version of H. G. Wells' 1898 novel, titled Jeff Wayne's Musical Version of The War of the Worlds, The New Generation. As the original musical version has remained one of the biggest selling albums of all time, Wayne explained that the idea was to return to it and explore H. G. Wells' characters in more detail, as well as develop the love story between the story's main character, George Herbert, the journalist, and his fiancée Carrie. Wayne also explained that it would allow him to reinterpret his compositions with the new production techniques of today. The album was released on the 26th of November 2012 on both CD and vinyl. The New Generation features Academy Award nominated actor Liam Neeson as the narrator, formerly played by Richard Burton. Neeson revealed he was impressed and intimidated by the prospect of narrating and starring in Wayne's project. Gary Barlow, lead singer and songwriter of the British vocal pop group Take That is the sung thoughts of the journalist, formerly voiced by Justin Hayward. British singer-songwriter Alex Clare is the voice of humanity. Maverick Sabre, Irish-English singer-songwriter and rapper, appears on the album as Parson Nathaniel, an English soul singer, songwriter, and actress Joss Stone as his wife Beth. Kaiser Chiefs front man Ricky Wilson took on the role of the artilleryman. The Black Smoke Band once again includes bassist Herbie Flowers and guitarist Chris Spedding, both from the original 1978 album. Throughout mid to late 2012, tracks from The New Generation were released through various radio shows, which included all the guest artists' tracks and a premiere of The Eve of the War. The new Liam Neeson hologram planned for the tour was demonstrated at the press conference with Neeson and Wayne and was also shown on the Alan Titchmarsh show, on which an Eve of the War and Forever Autumn medley was performed with Wayne conducting. In January 2013, a music video was released for the song Forever Autumn performed by Gary Barlow, however Barlow does not appear in the video. It stars Anna Marie Wayne as Carrie and Neeson as the journalist and looks further into the story of Carrie, rather than from the journalist's point of view as heard on the album. It features both all-new footage as well as footage seen on the CGI 100-foot wide screen used during the live shows. The New Generation album was produced by Jeff Wayne and Damien Collier and was recorded at Hollywood Recording Studios in Hertfordshire by Gayton Schurer and Tom Woodstock. <laughs> Topic. Tours A live tour based on the album began on 29 November 2012 and began playing across the UK and Europe. The live show, titled Jeff Wayne's Musical Version of The War of the Worlds, The New Generation, a live on stage, includes a holographic performance of Liam Neeson, interacting with the other performers. 
Ricky Wilson retains his role as the artilleryman from the album version. Marty Pello, lead singer of the Scottish pop group Wet Wet Wet, is the sung thoughts of the journalist. British rock band Jetblack's lead vocalist Will Stapleton is the voice of humanity. The touring cast includes Jason Donovan, who previously played the artilleryman on tour, as the Parson Nathaniel and West End theatre star Carrie Ellis as Beth. Michael Falzen and Lily Osborne appear as new characters William Rowland and Vera May respectively, appearing in a new prologue, introduced to the tour in 2009. Falzen also plays the small role of NASA controller Jerome Marvin Croft voiced by Jerry Wayne in the epilogue part 2, in which he gets blasted by the fighting machine on stage behind him. The original version of epilogue part 2 had an abrupt ending, which concludes the show, Alive on Stage, also includes new content not featured on the New Generation album, such as the new prologue. A new scene opens Act 2 between the journalist Liam Neeson and Carrie, his fiancée Anna Marie Wayne. This new piece, entitled, Distant Shores, is an exchange between the two after they have been separated and is seen on stage via holographic projections of both characters in which they express hope they may one day see each other again, speaking as though to each other, from distant shores. The show also includes effects used previously on tours including the use of pyrotechnics, now much improved, in which the audience is blasted by real heat rays, leaves fall upon the audience during Forever Autumn, and a levitation trick is used after Beth is killed during The Spirit of Man, bassist Herbie Flowers and guitarist Chris Spedding, both part of the original album and later the original live tour, again tour as members of the Black Smoke Band for a live on stage. The rest of band remain relatively unchanged from the album and previous tours, with the exception of Gordy Marshall from the album as replaced by ACCY Yates on drums. Jeff Wayne conducts the Black Smoke Band and the Ulladubula Strings as he has done on tours before. On 15 December Michael Falzen announced on Facebook, as did Carrie Ellis and Will Stapleton on Twitter, that the sold-out show at the O2 Arena in London was to be filmed for DVD release. This was confirmed by the official website. <laughs> Topic. Tour dates Topic. The final arena tour In November 2013, it was confirmed that Jeff Wayne's musical version of The War of the Worlds, The New Generation would tour arenas again in late November through December 2014 for the final arena tour. Tickets went on sale the 22nd of November 2013. The tour took place across the UK and the Netherlands, beginning in Sheffield on 27 November 2014 and coming to a close on 16 December 2014 in Amsterdam. Three of the guest performers were confirmed at the time of the tour announcement. Westlife's Brian McFadden played the role of the sung thoughts of the journalist played by Marty Pello on the previous tour, Les Miserables' Carrie Hope Fletcher played Beth played by Carrie Ellis on the 2012 tour, and Jason Donovan reprised his role of the Parson Nathaniel. At the time, Jeff Wayne also announced that another guest had been confirmed but was yet to be announced. Later announcements confirmed Shane Ward as the artilleryman, Joseph Whalen as the voice of humanity, and Jonathan Vickers as the NASA controller. The voice of the NASA controller for this production was voiced by Jerry Wayne. Other changes included adding the character of Carrie's father, actor Nigel Barber, and lyrics to the song Life Begins Again. Later in the year, the final guest was announced as actor Callum O'Neill, who portrayed H.G. Wells on stage in three separate stages of his life.
after the William Rowland and Vera May prologue was moved into a pre-show with the characters performing among the audience rather than on stage, O'Neill appeared in a new prologue as a 33-year-old Wells, opening the show with a speech about 19th-century England during the dying moments of 1899. He introduces himself and his work on the War of the Worlds before the on-screen introduction of the Martians. Later, just before Act Two begins, O'Neill appears again as a 53-year-old Wells, discussing the end of World War I and speaking about the destructive capabilities of humankind. O'Neill appears a final time at the end of the show, just before the NASA epilogue, this time as a 79-year-old Wells, elderly and in a wheelchair. Set just after the end of World War II, he is dying, but now speaks about the extent of atrocities committed during the recent war, how human beings can, in some shapes and forms, be as destructive as the Martians had been in his novel. The final arena tour ended on 16 December 2014 in Amsterdam. Speaking about the last show, Jeff Wayne said, bringing the War of the Worlds to life in many of the world's finest arenas has been the most amazing experience for me over the last seven years. We've achieved more than we ever thought was possible both musically and technologically. However, the time is right to take the War of the Worlds in new directions after the 2014 tour. Topic. The final arena tour dates Topic. DVD and cinema Alive on stage, at the O2 Arena was recorded and released across cinemas in the UK and Europe in April 2013. The War of the Worlds team worked with the distribution company More2 Screen, a company that brings special events to cinema. The recorded show was well received in a series of platform digital screenings in the UK before it transitioned to home entertainment. It was released on DVD in November 2013. Topic. 2016 London Theatre Production It was announced that The War of the Worlds was to make its theatrical debut in a reimagined production at the Dominion Theatre in London's West End, produced by Wayne and Bill Kenwright. It ran from 8 February to 30 April 2016 and featured direction by Bob Thompson, an on-stage orchestra conducted by Jeff Wayne and Liam Neeson as the journalist in 3D holography. Jimmy Nail played Parson Nathaniel, Daniel Bedingfield was the artilleryman and Heidi Range appeared on the stage as Beth. Alongside them was Michael Prade as George Herbert, Madalena Alberto playing Carrie and David Essex as the voice of humanity. Due to the indisposition of Daniel Bedingfield during the run, the artilleryman was played by understudy and experienced West End performer Simon Shorten for a number of shows, later Shorten took over as the artilleryman for a remaining month of the run. There were several musical changes to the piece including a key change for the song, Thunderchild, and a new song written for the stage production titled, With Joy and Hope and Wonder, as well as a Forever Autumn duet at the beginning of Act Two. Topic. Critical reception Topic. Track listing All dialogue written by Doreen and Jerry Wayne, based upon H.G. Wells's original text. All tracks written by Jeff Wayne except where noted. Topic. Cast Topic. Performers
Topic Album. Liam Neeson, spoken words, the journalist, the narrator protagonist. Gary Barlow, vocals, the sung thoughts of the journalist. Ricky Wilson, spoken words and vocals, the artilleryman. Maverick Saber, spoken words and vocals, Parson Nathaniel. Joss Stone, spoken words and vocals, Beth. Alex Clare, vocals, the voice of humanity. Jerry Wayne, spoken words, the voice of NASA. Lewis McLeod, spoken words, voice of the Martians. Topic: Tours. Liam Neeson, spoken words, the journalist, via holographic projection and 100 feet screen. Marty Pello, vocals, the sung thoughts of the journalist, 2012 tour. Brian McFadden, vocals, the sung thoughts of the journalist, 2014 farewell Thunderchild tour. Ricky Wilson, spoken words and vocals, the artilleryman, 2012 tour. Shane Ward, spoken words and vocals, the artilleryman, 2014 farewell Thunderchild tour. Jason Donovan, Spoken Words and Vocals, Parson Nathaniel, Both Tours. Carrie Ellis, Spoken Words and Vocals, Beth, 2012 Tour. Carrie Hope Fletcher, Spoken Words and Vocals, Beth, 2014 Farewell Thunderchild Tour. Will Stapleton, Vocals, The Voice of Humanity, 2012 Tour. Joseph Whalen, Vocals, The Voice of Humanity, 2014 Farewell Thunderchild Tour. Anna Marie Wayne, Spoken Words, Carrie, The Journalist's Fiancé, Via 100 Feet Screen. Nigel Barber, Spoken Words, Carrie's Father, Via 100 Feet Screen, 2014 Farewell Thunderchild Tour. Louis McLeod, Spoken Words, Voice of the Martians. Michael Falzen, Spoken Words and Vocals, William Rowland, Jerome Marvin Croth of NASA, Male Understudy, 2012 Tour. Jonathan Vickers, Spoken Words and Vocals, William Rowland, Jerome Marvin Croth of NASA, Male Understudy, 2014 Farewell Thunderchild Tour. Lily Osborne, Spoken Words and Vocals, Vera May, Female Understudy, 2012 Tour. Callum O'Neill, Spoken Words, H.G. Wells Age 33, 53, and 79, 2014 Farewell Thunderchild Tour. Topic. London West End Run Liam Neeson, Spoken Words, The Journalist, via holographic projection and 100 feet screen. Michael Prade, Vocals, The Sung Thoughts of the Journalist, George Herbert. Daniel Bedingfield, Spoken Words and Vocals, The Artilleryman. Jimmy Nail, Spoken Words and Vocals, Parson Nathaniel. Heidi Range, Spoken Words and Vocals, Beth. David Essex, Vocals, The Voice of Humanity. Madalena Alberto, Spoken Words and Vocals, Carrie, The Journalist's Fiancé. Louis McLeod, Spoken Words, Voice of the Martians. Simon Shorten, Spoken Words and Vocals, The Artilleryman, Understudy, Replacing Daniel Bedingfield. Charlie Bull, Understudy Carrie, Ensemble. Jody Steele, Understudy Beth, Ensemble. Anthony Hansen, understudy Parson Nathaniel, ensemble. Will Barrett Ogilvy, understudy journalist, ensemble. Chris Jenkins, second cover artilleryman, ensemble. Grace McKee, ensemble. Ethan Bradshaw, ensemble. Jack Mitchell, ensemble. Marios Nicolades, ensemble. Tash Hallway, ensemble. Matt Holland, Ensemble. Topic: The Black Smoke Band. Topic: Album. 
Jeff Wayne, composer, arranger, keyboards, synthesizers. Chris Spedding, electric guitar, acoustic guitar. Herbie Flowers, bass guitar. Ken Freeman, keyboards, synthesizers. George Fenton, Santor, Zither, Tar. Gordy Marshall, drums. Ray Cooper, percussion. Joe Partridge, guitars, The Heat Ray, vocals, Olas. Tom Woodstock, guitars, The Heat Ray, additional keyboards, backing vocals, Dulcimer. Lori Wisefield, mandolin, guitars, Dulcimer. Gaten Schurer, programming, keyboards, additional drum production. Topic: Tours. Jeff Wayne, composer, conductor. Chris Spedding, electric guitar, acoustic guitar. Herbie Flowers, bass guitar. Tom Woodstock, guitars, keyboards, backing vocals. Lori Wisefield, guitars, mandolin, auto harp, tar. Hugh Davies, guitars, mandolin, auto harp, tar, voice box, farewell Thunderchild tour. ACCY Yates, drums. Julia Thornton, percussion, harp, keyboards. Olivia Jagors, percussion, harp, farewell Thunderchild tour. Steve Turner, keyboards. Neil Angeli, keyboards. Kennedy Aitchison, keyboards. Thomas Gandhi, keyboards. Farewell Thunderchild tour. Topic: String Orchestra. Topic: Album. Little Chap Strings. Topic: Tours. Ulladubula. <laughs>